In our next video here, we're going to look at surface analysis. Now, working in a company, you're going to be asked to perform different analysis on the surface. They're going to want to know, your boss might want to know slopes, you might want to know elevations, you might want different analysis run. We can only build things so steep before they'll start collapsing in on themselves. So the surface analysis function is definitely important to know. So if we click on a surface, and we right click and we're going to look at the surface style aspect of this first because we need to set up the styles before we can display any of the information. Now under the display tab, the analysis that we can run are directions, elevations, slopes, and slope arrows. However, we are not going to turn all of these on at the same time. We're going to start with an elevation analysis. And we're going to look one tab over at the top of the surface style. And here are the directions, elevation, slopes, and slope arrows from the previous window. I'm going to expand elevations and just to see what's going on. Now default out of the box, Civil 3D uh, ships with, I believe, rainbow applied. So if, if we hit apply and it's not a 3D face, it will be a 2D solid. So if we run this, an elevation analysis, this is what Civil 3D is going to give us. If you print this, it's going to look horrible to work with on paper. So I'd like to choose just a different, instead of rainbow, maybe a pastel. It's a little bit more muted in the different colors. Or you can, you can go greens, you can go blues, a different range of green. I find that if you're in the, the pastels, or, I mean, rainbow if you have to, but pastels gives you more choices of color. So you can have up to 10, 12, 14 different ranges. And it's not going to cause a large problem. None of the colors are going to be duplicated. Now, group by, you can go equal interval, quantal, standard de deviation. The help button here will definitely help you on some of those. I like to try and do them equally. Number of ranges, we're going to just switch this to 12. And if I hit apply... It should add a couple more colors in. The range precision, so you can change the different precision. We can have a 2D solid, a hat solid, a mesh, a 3D face. So it gives us just a bunch of triangles, a little easier to look at. And the elevation display mode, use surface elevations. So that's running an elevation analysis, but again, what is this dark red or this uh, pinky color mean? What does this dark red color mean? Orange, yellow, green, dark green, blue. What do these colors mean? Really? You, you can't tell unless you start hovering over things. So we need to add a table. So under the surface dropdown, we can add a legend table. And we want an elevations table. Dynamic or static. So if we choose dynamic, when we when we update this analysis, the table itself will update. If we go static, it's never going to change. So I'm going to hit dynamic, and I'm going to place it off to the right of my surface here. But wait a minute. We, we put a table in. We have an elevation analysis, but nothing's appeared in the actual table. That is because we have to go tell Civil 3D, we have to tell the surface that we want it to actually analyze this stuff and not just display it. So I'm going to select my surface. I'm going to right click and go into surface properties. And I'll make this a little bit smaller. And if we look in the tabs up top, we have definition and right beside it, analysis. We have many different kinds of analysis we can run. We can run a contour analysis. We can run directions, elevations, slopes, slope arrows. We can add in user-defined contours. It's great for your high water levels or flooding levels. You can display a contour of exactly where the water is going to reach. And the infamous watersheds, which tend to cause issues in your drawing, so I'd suggest not using watersheds. I'm going to select an elevation analysis, and we can create by a number of ranges. Let's just make 12 and click the, the apply arrow. So down below, it gives us the information that's going to be analyzed. So we have 1168.8 to 1169.6, 1169.6 to 1170.4. So these are relatively even space. They're only off by a little bit. And if we wanted them exactly 1167 to 1169, we could do that. So we can come in here and type in the elevations that we want. As soon as we hit okay, 
this table is going to update. So here's the color. So this deep, dark pink color up here is an elevation of 1167 to 1169. So if we hover our mouse anywhere inside of this color, we will be between 1167 and 1169. So this case is 1168.916. Going back into my surface style, and again, if you set up different styles for these, it makes it a little bit easier. I'm just using this one and I'm turning things on and off as I need. I'm gonna run a slope analysis now. So according to Civil 3D, I have two different slopes on this drawing or on this surface, what's in dark red and what's in purple. So I'm going to go into my surface style again, and I'm gonna look at the options for my slopes. It's a rainbow scheme. Let's go back to pastels, a little bit easier to look at. Group by, we'll do in equal interval, 10 ra uh, ranges. Precision, I like to put at 0.1. And we'll hit apply. And that's updated a little bit. So we got some green and some yellow and some red in there now. And if we add a table, so under surfaces, add legend table. We want a slope analysis. We want a dynamic. I'm going to place it right here. And again, oh, it's not there, but we have to go and run the analysis. So under surface properties, under slopes, I'm going to apply it. Now, I'm telling it to do 10. It's only doing six though. If I do 15, it'll go up to eight. We can run up to 200 different, I believe, ranges. You can't go any higher than 200, but that's only giving us 14. In my experience, this has to do with that range precision under your style. So all I've gone is to the information tab and I'm editing the surface style under slopes. And if I change my precision to say 0 0.00001, come back to analysis and click the drop down arrow, that didn't even give us the information we want. So let's see if we can change this. Uh, we'll do that 0 0.0001 and maybe we can change the group by and see if that gives us any additional information. Okay. So I've changed that to 12, to 12 different uh, analysis types and we'll hit okay. And I'm actually going to turn my contours off so we can see what's here. So if we look at the table, anything with that deep, that dark pink color is 0.41% to 3.25%. So there's only a little bit in the back here that is that slope. A large majority of it is within these 11 to 12. So anywhere from 27% to 350%. And that is the majority of the outside here. So this will give you an idea of the slopes that you can put on your surface or the slopes that are there if we have to support them or stabilize them or do any work to them to make sure they don't slump and, and wash away because the steeper we get, the more dangerous it becomes. So that was just a couple quick analysis. We, an elevation analysis, I'm sure most of us have seen an elevation based map with different colors on contours. The higher you get, the darker they get. And a quick slope analysis so we can figure out how steep our ground actually is.